everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you the Create a Tag dies that will be available on HSN. This is a product from Stamps of Life and it comes with all of these tags. You have these two large tags and then you have all of these little smaller tags that you can use in addition to the large tags and I want you just to notice as I hold this closer that some are stitched, some are dotted, some are just straight. You have some zigzag borders here and just some different fun um, shapes and styles. It also comes with to and from. So these dies are the to and from. It has the for you. It also has a Christmas tree, candy cane, a star, a heart, and then some other words here. This is a Mary die and it there is a stitched rectangle die that you can cut that out with. There's a ho 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 and a Noel and each one of these comes with a stitched rectangle die that you can cut these out. So here are all of the die cuts that all of those dies make and I just cut them all out in one color just so you can see what they look like. So you have your two regular tags and the only thing difference is the bottom. You can see that the bottom edge is a little bit fancier on this one. And then from there, you can take any of those tags and look how cute these little patterns are. You can die cut these in maybe different colors or different um, types of pattern paper, and you can add them for a nice layered look to your tags. There's also a larger one here and then you have all of these fun words. Now the words for you and to, these are all individual letters that die cut out. There's your star. Here is the word Mary, and you can see it does cut out the rectangle with the stitching around, and the word Noel and the word ho 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 does the same thing. And then the heart die, this one actually gives you two layers there, an outline and then the solid. And then you have for this other style, heart shape. You have your Christmas tree that you can die cut in green and then you have two candy canes, one facing each, fa each facing the opposite direction. So, so I just wanted to measure these real quick for you just so you can see how big they are. So the long side it's just over three and a half so it's not even to the three and three quarters mark so it's between three and a half and three and three quarters and then the width is just under two inches and it's the same for both just verify yeah yep it's the same for both of them just so you get an idea of how big they are so even though these tags come with a lot of christmas themed stuff with all the sentiments in here and the candy canes the christmas tree you don't have to use these for christmas tags there are some hearts you can use them for valentine's day or just for love and again you have the stars and then obviously then you can just use them for just general even birthday you have the for you that you can use and you can use these with any of your um, stamp sets so you can you know color up any of your stamped images or die cut any of your stamped images and add these to them so they don't have to just be used for christmas tags although i am going to be making two christmas tags with this set today for this tag, I cut a piece of ginger snap cardstock out of the straight edged tag. And I also used the Christmas tree die and cut three Christmas trees out of the spearmint. I also used this little scalloped um, tag piece, cut that out of some polka dot with a red and white. And then I'm using the Noel piece and I have the word Noel and to cut that out, you just layer both of these dies in between each other. That's out of the vanilla cardstock. And then I took a piece of the red and just ran this rectangular die through. And now I'm ready to put my tag together. So I'm gonna start out by adhering this piece. And this piece, we're just gonna add some glue. And it's going to line up right at the top. So I'm just lining those circles up. And then just make sure everything's lined up and push that down. I'm gonna have my Christmas trees towards the bottom and I'm going to have two Christmas trees a little bit lower on one on each side so for example they're going to come down a little bit and then this top one is going to be raised 
little bit on top of those. So I just got to get those nice and aligned. I'm going to go ahead and start adhering these Christmas trees. And it looks like I need to spread these out a little bit. Okay, I'm just wanting to make sure that I have equal space on this side as I do on this side. And then this one is just going to be raised a little bit higher. My Noel piece, I did put double-sided adhesive on the back of this before I ran it through my die cut machine. So it would be easier to adhere to this rectangular die cut. I just need to peel that back and then layer this on. And then that's just going to go right down there at the bottom. Next, I'm just going to add some spearmint ribbon to the top. So I'm going to turn the back over and I went ahead and die cut the to and from because I was wanted to add that on the back of my tag. I thought that would be just something nice to be added. So I went ahead and put double-sided adhesive on the back of this um, paper before I ran this through my die cut machine just because these letters are so intricate. All right, so there's my tag. The front has this beautiful scene on it with the Christmas trees and then the back has to and from so you can, there's plenty of room to hand write the names here. So that completes that tag. For this next tag, I die cut two of the tags that have the little scallop at the bottom. So I have one in this pretty snowflake paper and one in the powdered sugar. And the reason I die cut two is because look at the back of this snowflake paper. I don't want those penguins showing. You can see some of them are even cut off. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to back these up um, next to each other. So that way there's just a piece of white cardstock on the back of this tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and line those up and then just press down to adhere them. I also took this die and I die cut a piece of glittered cardstock. Now, you would think because this has the little opening, of course you can put it up here. But for this card, I'm actually going to put it at the bottom and you'll see why in just a minute. So I am just going to adhere this down and just line it up. And you can see that when you line it up, it's the same exact little scallop edge as the die so it lines up perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create this little scene and my little snowman is going to sit on top of that. So you can see that you're not even going to see this once I put the snowman down and it just looks like a little snow hill that is on the bottom of this tag. Now this snowman is from a previous stamp set that the Stamps of Life had for sale on HSN in case you have it already. It's the Santa and Snowman Pudgy. So I went ahead and colored that up and I will link all of the colors that I used in my blog post. So I'm going to take this chipboard snowflake and this, if you've been in the um, club for a while, you probably have already had this. This is from one of the card kit kits that came out from the Stamps of Life. And I'm just putting some glue just on one side because I'm going to sprinkle on some glitter because part of this is gonna be covered, but some of it is gonna show. So the part that's gonna show, I just wanted to have some glitter on there. Okay, so there's a little bit of glitter. It just resembles a little bit of snow. So I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. So my whole goal is to put this snowflake behind the snowman. And I am gonna go ahead and use some stamps. They are my two from stamps, and these are from the Tags to Stamp. Yes, this tag kit does come with the stamp set, but I'm gonna use these stamps just because there is a pair of to and from that is Pretty small, I mean, it's not as small as I would like it, but it's pretty small that will fit here because you can see I've got a lot going on and there's not much more room to play with. So that's why I'm using these stamps. 
So I'm gonna just position my two from where I want them to go. And you can see that even when I put these on here, there's not a whole lot of room here to write um, to write on here. But you can write, if you write really small, you'll, you'll be able to fit a to and a from here. So again, just positioning everything here where I want it to go. And I'm going to just hold this down and move all of this. Let me hold this down with my magnet. And then I'm going to close this down to grab a hold of those to and from stamps. I'm gonna use my Forever Black ink from the Stamps of Life. This just gives a nice dark black impression. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this down. All right, so now I'm just gonna position everything once again where I want it to go so I can be sure that I adhere everything exactly where it needs to be. And I'm gonna use my Art Glitter Glue to apply this um, piece of chipboard. And notice that some of it's hanging off, so I'm only gonna apply glue to where the glitter is not. So I'm just gonna come in here and just put a bunch of glue on the back of this where I don't have the glitter. And as before I push this down, again, I need to position this just to make sure it's exactly where it needs to go, which it looks like I'm gonna have to put some glue on this one here. So let's go ahead and do that again. So I'm just gonna press that down Next, I'm gonna take my snowman and I went ahead and put some foam adhesive, it's double-sided foam adhesive, where the snowman is not going to be on top of the snowflake. So if you kind of look at your tag on the side, you'll be able to see where there's nothing underneath the snowman. And by applying that double-sided adhesive, it just makes for a solid surface for your snowman to sit on top of. And I'm gonna add a little bit more, just right here. And then I'm gonna peel this up, and then I'm gonna apply glue to all of the rest of the area because that's the area where it's gonna sit on top of the snowflake. And then go ahead and add that to your tag. So next I'm adding some white and some guava ribbon and I just double layered it and I'm just gonna tie this in a knot and add that to the top of my tag. And I think that will turn out super cute. So here I'm gonna just clean this up a bit. And I just want these to be even, so I am going to just snip off a little bit here on the right. Okay, and there is my tag. I just think that turned out super cute. You can see the dimension on there. So here's a look at my tags that I created with the created tag from the Stamps of Life. If you are interested in these products, head on over to hsn.com, do a search for the Stamps of Life, and you will find them over there. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.